please go to my channel and press the subscribe button and the bell notification button so that you get notified all the time I upload a new video. Hey yo, what is up people? This is Trishana Roy and you are watching Trishana's Tech. So let's start today's video. Yeah guys, I have come after many 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 days as my final exams were going on. Sorry about that but let's dig into the video of today. So today I will be reviewing the 2666 clamp meter. As you can see I have got it here. I have already done the unboxing once for uh, trying it out first. So yeah I have tried this thing out for about one week and yeah the results were pretty good. Uh, and re uh, I'll remind you of one thing this is a very high power meter so stay cautious while using it and uh, it's not used for uh, registering uh, very low voltages it's for very high voltages so remember that uh, so as you can see I'm opening it right here uh, yeah so now you can see here is the clamp meter itself and here are the wires there's a very sleek pocket here inside here there is the manual which we never read so yeah leave that and yeah here are the wires here is the meter itself uh, so yeah I'll just basically explain you what uh, uh, what all are here and here uh, this is the clamp through which you clamp the wire and check the voltage of the wire uh, without cutting it which is the cool part of this here is the LCD display uh, yeah you can turn this knob right like that and uh, you can see the display is working uh, over here there is a battery slot uh, you can just open it takes a 9 volt battery and they already include uh, they give it to you in the package itself I have bought this from Amazon I will give a link to this down in the description below if you people are interested please do buy it uh, yeah next is this thing is the black wire which goes into COM right here you can just push it right in like that and uh, next is the V and ohm so in the V and ohm the red wire goes in yeah so now basically this thing is totally set up and uh, uh, they even give you a tester and a electrical cello tape with this thing uh, yeah uh, and it's for free so yeah there's a uh, good part if you buy it from Amazon uh, only they give it to you uh, yeah and here is the hold uh, hold value button switch uh, now I'll just be reading some values and showing you people okay so yes guys we are all set now uh, as you can see this is the Arduino Nano right here uh, yeah so this gives out three volts uh, uh, power output and you can just put it to uh, uh, thousand volts uh, DC you can see it right here and now I'll, I'll be showing you that it will be reading 3 volts here yeah so the red one goes to the red and the blue one goes to the black these are just jumper wires as you can see it's, it's doing a reading of 3 volts but it will not show you the exact uh, voltage of this 3 point watt volts as I said you this is the very high power voltage uh, meter so this won't read small values like this uh, this is uh, Arduino Nano I'm reading 3 volts but then uh, I can I, uh, now I'll be showing you the real like uh, outputs of this way so yes guys as you can see I've set up the camera and uh, now I'll show you uh, you, as you can see this is the power outlet which I'm using for now and uh, yeah I'll, I'll hold this like so and for AC you need to put it on this for DC this is uh, enough and uh, yeah now I, I'll be putting this inside the uh, output uh, of the socket So as you can see it's coming as two, around 230 volts AC and I'm putting it right in the power outlet for now. Now I've taken it out, yeah, 0 volts. So yeah, I'll, I'll show you how to use the power hold button, data hold button. Yeah, so I'll just put uh, both of these in for now. As you can see it's showing a reading of two, uh, 233 now i'll be pressing this button now uh, so yeah the connection got a little loose so it's showing 33 uh, yeah 
yeah so now as you can see it's showing 233 and yeah I'll press the button as you can see it's showing 233 and I'm not doing I'm not uh, putting these inside as well so yeah and uh, for releasing the data you just need to press it again it will go away and yeah so this is the off button now I can just off it so yes guys that's it for today's video if you did like it please do subscribe share like and comment on the video we are almost hitting 200 subscribers I hope you will do it soon for me and for us as well I'll be posting regularly from now onwards that's it for today's video I'll see you in the next video until then bye Take care.